Hey everybody, this is Papa with Mattress Makers, and on this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are going to pick apart the Serta Verwang Beyond Exquisite Latex Mattress. I put latex in quotes because we'll see that it's not a full latex mattress, and we see a lot of that these days, where companies say that they have a latex mattress, but there's also a lot of polyurethane, and what we found is a mattress is only as good as the weakest link. But let's see, let's take apart this mattress and see what's inside. This mattress was really popular about 10 years ago. It retailed for about $5,000, about $49.99 in a lot of these stores out here. And um, it was it was a popular mattress, very comfortable, but you know, didn't last as long as your typical latex mattress. And we saw that with this mattress here. And we're gonna pick apart and see what's inside. So let's open up this mattress. All right, you guys, and let me see. Let me just open up this right here. Okay, you guys. So, as we see here, as we we talked about in the past, there are three main parts to a mattress. You got the cover, which is the panel. This is gonna give a lot of the, the, the mattress most of the feel, or at least a good part of the feel, and also affect the breathability. It kind of gives it that, that you know, plushness to it. But also, the second part of the mattress is gonna be the comfort layers. And what we see here, the comfort layers gives it the pressure relief and also a good chunk of the, the, the comfort. And then the third part of the mattress is the support layer. So starting from the top, top down, this is going to be just a polyester cover with some polyester feel and then with a little bit of foam. But then you start going into the first part of the comfort layer. We have about two inches of convoluted polyurethane foam. So it feels more like a medium density, nothing too high density. It doesn't feel that high density on here, but it could be maybe a 1.8 pound at the highest. And Convoluted foam supposedly gives us some pressure relief and some airflow, but we found with convoluted foam, with this like eight crate type of foam, it does tend to compress a little bit more. So, because you know these little things, these little um, little mountains, little eight crate type um, formations tend to compress a lot quicker than um, if it was just solid foam. And then, so there's no latex on the top part. There's no latex on the pillow top. Part. So now let's find let's see if there's any latex here. And again, also on the comfort layer, we have more polyurethane. This is another convoluted polyurethane foam, more like a medium density polyurethane foam, which again, I mean, comfort subjective. So it's really, I'm not gonna say it's not comfortable, it's comfortable for some people, but in the long run over time, it does tend to break down. It's not a real, it's not as durable as a full latex. Now, as we go down deeper, this is where we start getting to the latex. And this latex is actually really nice latex. This is gonna have, um, it has, it looks like it's um, Calais latex, more of like a firmer feel. And this is great condition. The latex is in great condition. And I see nothing wrong, a little bit of, you know, it gets a little bit of crusty at the, at the edges. But overall, this is really nice latex. Looks like it is in good condition. And then again, on the bottom bottom part is we get some more polyurethane, more polyurethane foam here. And again, that just gives us some height. A lot of mattresses make their beds, mattress companies make their mattresses thicker these days just because um, people buy with their eyes, you know? They, they see a thicker mattress and they think it's better. And the thicker the mattress, you could charge more for it and there's more story behind it. But in reality, it doesn't, this really does not make it a better mattress. You know, you could have got away with just this without this, and it'll probably be a little bit more durable too, because the more layers that you have in the bed, the, the faster it is, or the, the more likely it is gonna break down. So we have the latex mattress. Part of it is gonna be right here, and there's a little bit 
in the second layer, about an inch of it. And then that's about it. The mattress is only as good as the weakest thing. You can have the best latex in there, but if you have inferior um, material in there, components, it's gonna break down at the weakest link. So, so yeah, if you're looking for a mattress, it doesn't matter it has the best wool, the best latex, the best organic con. If there's one cheap layer in there, it's going to break down that one cheap layer and then it affects everything else. So that is the Serta Beyond Exquisite Latex Mattress. Um, for $5,000, it's pretty expensive, but um, it was comfortable, you know, while it lasted. So. Thanks for watching, and again, if you guys are um, just starting your mattress shopping journey, download our mattress shopping guide. Um, gives you tips and um, and helps you avoid any mistakes to make when you're, you're shopping for a mattress. So um, yeah, mattressmakers.com.